front. Behind me, we have the Cadillac of pickups. <laughs> if Cadillac indeed built pickups. It is the 2015 Sierra Denali 1500 with what engine? 6.2 and an eight-speed automatic. Wow, this is one of the most powerful engines you can get in a half ton. And we're gonna take it up the eye gauntlet to see how this Cadillac of pickups tows. And that is coming up next on the Fast Lane Truck. What's the best towing truck in the land? That is a really simple question and one that we're gonna answer at the first annual TFL Truck Gold Hitch Awards. That's right, coming in April, we're gonna find out which of the trucks in four classes, yes, light duty, heavy duty, and midsize, and of course, large SUV can tow the best. So other channels may have most fun cars, may have some kind of engineering thing. Not here. We're gonna find out what's the best towing truck in the land, and that is coming up on April 8th. It's gonna be called the TFL Truck Gold Hitch Award, and guess what? We're gonna live stream it, so you can find out when we find out. Okay, Ken, we are once again heading up the Ike Gauntlet in a slammed Sierra Denali 1500, except it never says Sierra anywhere. I just lost my odometer thing because I pushed the middle button and went to the odometer instead of whatchamacallit. Uh oh. Oh, you gotta find it. Yeah, it's wanting to go all over. Uh oh. Alright. Yeah, I'll try. So, how's it going? How's it feel? Well, it feels good. Now, this is a quiet truck, so you don't hear. All the noise you do in some trucks, even though this is a V8 and has that V8 rumble, it's a quiet rumble and at eight speed. And we're getting boxed in here. Yep. Of course, we're we got, stuck. Yeah, we're not pulling anywhere near maximum capacity, so we're you know we'd be wide open throttle on this, 80 miles an hour too if we wanted to, but we're not going to. We're going to be the speed limit. So there's the Jeep on the back of that truck. That's what the Jeep looks like. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Pull over here. Yep. Let me see here. I'm trying to get you. There we go. Okay. I got you back in the uh, game again. Now, if this were a Silverado, GM would say that the styling is a fist into the wind. But since it's a GMC Denali, it is a glove fist into the wind. You see the difference? So, um, once again, this is an extreme test of a truck's performance because we're going from about, well, 9,000 to about 11,000 and the higher we go, the less air density there is and so we lose about 30% power. And even though this is a freaking big V8, the issue is um, it loses 30% power. That's right, but this is such a smooth truck. I mean, even at 5,000 RPM, it doesn't sound that loud, and it's it shifts so smooth. That eight-speed, the gear spacing is beautiful. It, it's just right so that you don't have that jerk each time you shift, even when tow mode, when you're wrapping up the RPMs. Now, I'm not proud of this on grade shifting. I think part of that, because this has, instead of the 342 for the higher towing capacity, this one has the 323. Yeah, coming down the mountain, we use grade shifting to slow the truck down, and uh, let's face it, it wasn't doing a great job. Right, it was it was kicking in at low RPMs, which didn't do any real great braking. Under the hood, you'll find a prop American V8. That's right, it's a 6.2 liter that puts out 420 horsepower, and get this, 460 pound-foot of torque. It's made it to a eight-speed, count them, eight-speed automatic transmission, and of course, it can power all four wheels, which I think are beautiful. Well, honey, you got in my way, and I can't tell what you're doing now. We've got a lot of road rage going road on rage. up this I can't let road people rage. are not happy uh, because, you know, we're towing. What are we supposed to do, guys? You know, it's... Yeah. Uh, 
And see, that's the problem with that kind of mirror over there. It doesn't tell you exactly what's in this mirror. It's a mirror smaller or yeah. larger. Yep. Yeah. And that messes you up too when lane changes come along. Yeah, let's face it, these are not towing mirrors. No, they're not. They're they're on the small side, so I, yeah, I wouldn't recommend these. I mean, a trailer like this where we can see past the Bronco in the back is good, but you know, in the horse trailer, in the RV, you couldn't see around the sides at all. Now, I do have the uh, stopwatch going here, but you know, I think it's going to be irrelevant because if you were to floor it now, would you exceed the speed limit? At some point, yeah, not you, all yeah. the way up, but yeah, at some point, and that's back to that gear ratio because this is not going to have the RPMs. And if we can catch those gears, it'll give us a higher top end, but we're not going to be able to, to accelerate fast enough to use that top end. But that's yeah. where the great shifting on is. I mean, it, shifting at 35 and 25, sometimes 45, which uh, that's what it takes to really get engine braking great shifting, and it really didn't do that coming down. Now inside the glove and fist style motif continues because everything I touch is soft, everything I touch feels expensive, and everything is elegant and butch at the same time. That is not easy to accomplish. And you know what? This better be the Cadillac of trucks because at almost $58,000, it is one expensive 1500 pick em up truck. start exceeding the speed limit right there so yeah I mean it has plenty of power and the reason of course we're using only uh, 7200 which is well below this trucks um, limit is because that's what we tested the other V8s on exactly. and so we're trying to stay consistent uh, yeah. especially for the gold hitch award and now keep in mind once we get past this year we're gonna up that number but to keep it consistent for now we're using this number and we're gonna have to up it because when uh, Nissan comes in here with their uh, kind of tweener truck, right? It's in between heavy duty <laughs> <laughs> and the light true. duty, right? It's going to be able to tow a lot, we think. Um, do you like the looks of this interior? Oh, I love it. This is the bling bling truck. I mean, it is a big truck, yeah. <laughs> if, you're, uh, if you're into rap music, you'll just go right into it. But this is a cool truck. It's really weird that it has no labeling other than Denali. It doesn't tell you it's a Sierra. It doesn't tell you it's 1500. And it tells you Denali is embedded in the wheels. It's embedded in the bed liner, so they, they really like the, the Denali name on it, but that's all you see. It's 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 a cool, it's a very classy truck. It is, that's very a good classy. way to put it. Yeah, it's a classy truck, and it's a very quiet truck, right? It is, it is, yeah, it's even, even, even at full boil right now, we're talking, and I'm kind of, my voice is up higher than it normally would be, so you guys can hear me, but for the most part, you can carry on a conversation normally. Uh, while towing with no problem. All the trucks now are so quiet. Oh sure, and this is more like driving a car. It's how it feels, it's how it shifts. So we always want to see how much these trucks squat when we hook up the trailer. So let's just measure it now. Before we hook up the trailer, we're at just under 39 inches. So we'll see when we hook it up how much it actually squats down. It doesn't, you know, shift like we're used to in a truck with, a, you know, especially in, in tow mode, a little harsher shift. This is just smooth all the way through, so you know you're just kind of forgetting that you're towing a trailer with it. Yeah, I think refinement is a good word to use for this truck because yeah. you can tell they spent a lot of time sweating the details. Everything you look at is uh, uh, very nice, very elegant, very stylish. You know the stitching; it just feels like uh, you know I am a boss of some yeah. <laughs> a big yeah. mining company or or some you know some fracking company, and this is my truck, and I'm proud of it. And this is real, yeah, real aluminum. This is it's a real truck, and that's what you should get for this much money. You should get things made out of real metal, not plastic everywhere. Now it feels like you're struggling a little bit. This being well, we are 16. pulling back. Yeah, this is one of the steeper parts here. Like are you, you see floored? The semis. Yeah, I'm floored. You're wide you open. You can ground. see the semis are pulling back too. But you know, I and this one, you know, because it is so smooth. It gets over 60 easily and you don't know it and it's hard to keep this right where you want it without cruise control. I mean think about this, 420 horsepower minus 30%. Now I'm not good at math, but I can tell you that's over 120 horsepower when we get to the top that we're down. Yeah. So, yeah, so we're more like at 300 horsepower and not at 420. Of course towing is right. about torque, but nevertheless, uh, normally aspirated engines those that don't have turbochargers right for induction they really suffer up here and even this big displacement engine is suffering i can tell so let's measure how much we squatted from when we measured it so we were at 
39, we're at 36, so about three inches. But you know what? Since this is kind of a down low sort of truck, it actually looks really good squatting. Whether I'm blinding oncoming traffic or not is another question, but as a low rider, as a slammed Cadillac of trucks, it looks good. Yeah, and it's, you know, it's, uh, it's a smooth truck, like I was saying, and it, uh, it, 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 I can't go wide open throttle because there's just, we go too fast. That, that's the problem. And, and this one, actually, the towing capacity is 9,200 pounds. If this had a uh, 342 axle, we could go, I think it's 11,900. And if, if it's two-wheel drive, we could go 12,000. So you've got a large range of towing capacities with this engine, with this transmission. You know, I, I would love to be able to compare, like, an F-150 with the same uh, gear ratio as this, as a ramp, but getting that is almost impossible. That is yeah. the holy grail. Literally, it is that hard for us to get it because, you know, you've got different cab configurations, you've got different uh, rear gear axle ratios, and it's impossible to compare apples to apples. So we do the best that we can, guys, given the limitations of getting trucks. Right, right, and I, I can't keep wide open throttle up. It just gets up there, and then I've got to back off, so... Okay, this Denali's got that same bed they came out with a couple years ago, but I like this truck actually in 2014. This has that easy lift tailgate that drops down and helps you get it up. It's got the step-in corner on the bumper and the handle. It's got, this one has a sprayed in bed liner and there's 10 places, count them, 10 places to tie your cargo down. And this bed is five foot eight, which is a respectable bed. That's the short, short bed. Yeah, so it's kind of a seesaw effect in a little yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. And it I could be that eight-speed transmission. Well, that's shifting, yeah, yeah, you know, I think some of that, the axle ratio, this actually running at lower RPMs. Yep. And so, I don't know, I mean, it takes a little more throttle to get going than it would if it's high. Uh, uh, now it's fine. Yeah, yeah, see, we're staying right around 61 right there. And we're at the, we're at the, we're at the steepest part. Yeah, yeah, yeah you have every to time I back off, I lose RPMs, of course. Yeah. So you start over, but th this, this transmission does map right. It does keep you in the RPM bands. So it's not a big deal. And so you can always pick up speed and get that, that passing speed but you just don't get that jerk in the seat that you know you're going faster, so you gotta watch it because it's a sneaky little rascal. It's so smooth, <laughs> it's sneaky. All right, we're coming up to the end here, and uh, we're at 7.30, and we're coming to the uh, lights, which signal the fact that we're almost at the top of the Eye Gauntlet. This Denali is rated to tow 9,200 pounds because it has a 3.23 axle ratio. That's not the, the best ratio they have for towing, but that's where it's rated at. And we're towing about 7,200 pounds. We're doing that because that's what we towed the other V8s in the half ton class with when we towed the Lincoln. So this new trailer, compared to the Lincoln and the old trailer, is about 100 pounds more. So we're very close to apples to apples comparing these trucks going up the Ike Gauntlet. It was a sort of kind of clean run. You know, getting a clean run is uh, always tricky. Uh, so let's see what the time is, but I wouldn't take this I take this with a pretty big grain of salt because once again we were able to change the way that uh, you kept the power on. And we got red lights. Got what red. the heck? Yeah, stop. Stop like that's never happened before. <laughs> the time is 7.57 and we've actually hit a red light for some reason. Wow. Wow. wow that guy's that's, playing with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We've never had that happen. Yeah. yeah, that would be a surprise because they don't tell you far enough advance. You know, Maybe they knew on. we were coming. <laughs> wow. Yeah, Maybe they knew we were coming too fast. Stop that quick. Yeah. What's our fuel economy? Ah, uh, 4.3. 4.3. 4.3 MPG uh, going to the top of the Ike Gauntlet. And we, first time ever we hit a stoplight. And we were using our new test trader. This is a tilt trader from Load Trail and Aaron there at Jayhawk Trailers in Denver. We're pulling this 68 vintage Bronco. And this is the easy loader because this tilt trailer just loads like a, like a Lamborghini. It's 7% degree, seven degree ramp. And I'm stuttering. Man, what the hell, a Lamborghini? It loads like a Lamborghini? What does I'm a Lamborghini sorry. load? I mean, you could load a Lamborghini sorry. because of that low seven degrees. So like a Lamborghini, dude. I'm sorry, it's, it, it's a fast trailer it's though. It's a load it's, of, you know what? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. As we wrap up another episode of the Ike Gauntlet, um, would you say that this is a truck 
that's more of a workmanlike truck or more of a show me kind of truck. This is the boss's truck. Yeah, this is the boss's <laughs> truck. <laughs> and it's, sure. it's laid out like an office. You know, you got such well designed systems for plugging in your power, plugging in your files, everything. This is, uh, yeah, this is the, the guy who can write this off his taxes. That's who buys this truck. Heck yeah, this is the Cadillac of trucks. As always, this is Roman saying thanks for watching. And over here is Mr. Truck.com. Wait, that's not your name. Yeah, what is it, Mr. Truck? Mr. Truck.com. No, it's Ken Sutton. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, check out uh, TFLTruck.com for more news, views, and of course, all kinds of cool Ike Gauntlet reviews. And keep in mind, we're doing the first annual TFL Gold Hitch Awards coming up very soon where we crown the best truck in the land. Will this be it? We don't well, know. Well, we don't know. We don't know. It's a stay, contender. Stay tuned. It's a contender. Bye.